Hi, welcome. What, uh... What can I do for you? Oh boy, do I have an offer for you. Ah, I see. I I'll pass though, actually. I'm on a diet. What are you talking about? You're selling candy to the office, right? That's why you're dressed like that? Oh no, see, I'm actually a NASCAR driver, which means I'm contractually obligated to wear a fire suit in inappropriate settings. Oh, right. I'm so sorry, Mr. Uh, Bush. I totally forgot you were coming in today. What can I do for you? Well, actually, I have a business proposal for you. You came to the right place. We love doing business here at th the company. Well, there's never been a better time to feature your logo on a race car. Really? Is it cheaper than ever before? No. Are the TV ratings at an all-time high? Nope. Is the car spending more time on track during the weekend? No, we've actually cut back on that the last few years. So why exactly is now the best time to put my logo on a race car? Well, you see, we moved the door numbers forward a few inches, so instead of having your logo be big on the side of the car, you can have your logo be a tiny bit bigger on the side of the car. Did you say we can make our logo a tiny bit bigger on the side of the car? That's the reaction we were hoping for. And will it still cost the same as when the door number was centered? Actually, no. It will cost you more money. That was actually the whole point when NASCAR and the teams collectively decided to make this change. Well, I'm sure the slightly bigger logo is worth the extra investment. Nice. So tell me about yourself. I googled you and it says you won two NASCAR championships? That's right. So you must win like a bunch of races every year. If you include Xfinity and trucks, yeah. Don't some drivers do backflips or smash pinatas? What do you do to celebrate wins? Oh, you know, a little this, a little that. Sometimes I mock the fans who paid to see me race. Ooh, edgy. Thank you. So what is your relationship like with fans? Oh, they love me. Really? Because I noticed a guy outside our office this morning with a sign that said, Kyle Bush. Just the best people. Why do you think some fans don't like you? They're probably just jealous of the fact that I'm the winningest driver in NASCAR history. The winningest driver in NASCAR history? Hang on, is that true? Oh, oh please don't Google that. Oh, I see. If you include Xfinity and trucks. If you include Xfinity and trucks, yeah, which you should because I'm telling you to. Do you like to do interviews, media appearances? Eh, sometimes I'll make a feature length documentary that I can profit off of, but other times I'll make it obvious that I'd rather be literally anywhere else are just trying to do their job. Exactly. How dare they? Uh-huh. Let's talk bigger picture. What about activations at the track? If you're willing to pay for it, we can make it happen. Would we get a discount for sponsoring a top tier driver? Ho oh, ho, no. See, for this, you'll be paying the tracks. Well, I guess the tracks do need their money. Yeah, right now they only get a majority of the $8 billion TV contract, plus ticket sales, plus food and beverage, and sometimes parking. Wow, well, I'm sure that money must be going towards building state-of-the-art facilities. Actually, no. Get ready for hot metal bleachers and to have absolutely no cell service at most tracks. Huh. Well, we spend too much time on our phones anyways. One last question. We're a family-friendly company. Would you say your brand image is family-friendly? Absolutely. Well... I have two kids. Two kids? That sounds like a family to me. I love it. So what do you think? Will you give me tens of millions of dollars? Absolutely. You know, my son loves racing. He and his friends wake up early every Sunday morning to make sure they catch the green flag. And they're huge fans of Red Bull, I think. And we're all about trying to be hip and cool here at the company. I'm pretty sure they're watching Formula One. That's a completely different racing series. Oh, well, it's all race cars. I'm sure the kids love NASCAR racing too. NASCAR actually is one of the oldest fan bases of any major sport. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, your assumption literally couldn't have been more wrong. So what do you say? Will you still give me tens of millions of dollars? I, sure, let's do it. There's just something about that smile of yours that sells me on this whole thing. So should I have uh, my people call yours? <laughs> We're kind of desperate. I hear that. Mm. Oh, wait one sec. Uh, okay, mm. hello. I've been what? What's happening? Ho oh, ho, dang it. What's going on? What? Ugh. <sighs> Good afternoon, sir. Who are you? I'm the new CFO. I thought he was the CFO. He was, but big companies like ours like to swap out CFOs frequently. It keeps things fresh. I don't know. Anyway, can you start over for me? Start over? Uh, sure. Uh, see, I'm a race car driver. Ooh, let me stop you right there. We do NFTs now. What? Yeah, I don't really know, but that's what we're going with. We do NFTs now. I... I'm sorry, things just seem to be happening so fast. Not much of a race car driver now if you can't handle things going fast. Can we turn turning left into an NFT? <sighs> Hey y'all, Eric here. Thanks for watching this video. I know it's a little different than what you're probably used to seeing on this channel. Just wanted to try something fun for a change. It's not meant to be taken seriously, all just for jokes, obviously. If you're unfamiliar, this video was heavily inspired by the Pitch Meeting YouTube series. I went on like a, a binge a few weeks ago and watched like 
a hundred of these videos. I thought it'd be kind of fun to apply that concept to a real world NASCAR scenario. Let me know what you thought of it, share it around. Uh, maybe we'll do more of this kind of video in the future. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Take it easy, y'all.